Good morning, anyone who joins in. There you go, that's a bit better, isn't it? It's a bit brighter. Morning, Leanne. Morning, Radley. So, just like last week, whilst people are joining in, morning, Sally. Morning, Bradley. Whilst people are joining in, Charles is going to be just basically doing what will be classed as an arrival activity. So, she's just going to be practicing. Leanne and Radley, say morning, Charlie. Morning. Morning, Nick. So as you can see, today we decided we're going to do this from the garden, um, from the kitchen, sorry. The garden is not a nice place, it's wet, it's windy. Um, this is actually Charlie's main practice space anyway. This is where he does most of his ball mastery stuff when we're practicing together. So, morning Kimberley, morning Terrell, morning Vicky, morning Max. Like I say, just for now, whilst people are joining in, he's just literally just practicing little bits he'd do on his own. Um, session this this week based around uh, using the sole part of the foot last week it was more the toes um, again it's all ball match there no hitting the ball around or in the kitchen obviously so morning Oscar morning Lucas maybe a reference point Charlie you're a bit further forward than you need to be yeah ready to practice yourself with a fridge hello Max Morning Rebecca and morning Carter, you alright? Move this forward a bit Charlotte, see if we can get you a bit more. Go on then, keep going. Good to see you watching Brad, need to be practicing more mate. Want to see them silky feet you've got kid? Morning Cher, morning John, morning Jude, morning Zane. Charlie, what's, what's the time sound the cooker? 10.04. 10.04, okay. Morning Cal, morning Freddie. Morning Joe. Charlie's just literally just practicing a little bit just whilst we wait for people to arrive. Um, it's 10.04, we'll go literally in a minute again. So just so you're aware, um, last week we worked mainly with the toes, this week we're working mainly with the sole. It's just all ball mastery stuff, can be done in a small space. I saw people last week doing it in their living rooms. Um, the ball's not going to be flying around, hopefully. Hopefully just lose control. Hey Charlie, do you reckon you're going to lose control? Probably not. <laughs> okay, we will get started because it's five past. So just to start, um, welcome to this feed. It's uh, Studs JFC, live virtual sessions, all ball mastery based, free to anyone. So if you enjoy it, get sharing, get liking, um, as many people as possible really. Okay, just so you know, I'm Dwayne, so I coach the under sevens and the sixes and also the mini kickers. And this is Charlie, my son, he plays for our under sevens. Say hello Charlie. Okay, like I say, it's just, today it's just ball mastery, using the sole part of the feet. The ball should be flying around, so hopefully it doesn't lose control. Um, we do these sessions every Sunday, 10 a.m. Okay, we also put out there at 10 a.m. on a Wednesday a fitness session, which is led by our under-11s coach, John. Um, get involved in that as well, you know, keep fit whilst we're doing this. Okay, you ready, Charles? you want a quick drink before we start? Mm. No? Put the ball down then, shouldn't be bouncing it. Reference point, are you far enough? Go back a little bit, please. Remember the fridge. So Charlie's got a reference point. It's just for the camera, just so you can see the ball, really. Um, so first exercise, we did this one last week, but we're going to start with toe taps for 30 seconds. Nice and quick, get as many in as you can, but under control. Off you go, Charlie. So as he's doing here, he's just going to do like a running motion, tapping the ball with his toes on the under, under part of the foot. Okay, they should get tired. Um, that's the whole idea of it. Moving across the kitchen quite a bit, kid. Stop there then. Move back into your reference point. Middle of the camera, remember. 
boy. Now, what he's going to do is he's going to do in between the feet. But Charlie, can you remember the running motion you do? What one? Where you run at the side of the ball first. So you get control. Okay. So for him to start there, Charlie, stop one second. I'll show you. What we want him to do is he's very nice. He's just going to start moving his feet like this. And then as he goes, he's going to move it between his feet, keeping it under control as if he's running. Okay. In a dribbling motion. You ready, Charlie? 30 seconds, let's go. Remember to keep, what he's trying to do is keep his nose over the ball, so he's got a nice reference balance. Okay, keep a control of the ball. This is very, very good control for when they're dribbling, okay? It can be used to shuffle the ball and go past people. Nothing fancy, but nice, good control. Well done there, Charlie. So back to the middle then. Now all he's going to do is he's going to repeat the first exercise, which was his toe tap. So off you go, toe tap to put everyone. And all we're doing as we do these exercises is we're looking to build their balance and their coordination. Okay? It's important in games if they're going to be players who can control the ball, take people on, that they have good balance and good coordination. So we're trying to build on that. Okay? Fast feet. You can't have fast feet if you don't practice that balance and coordination. Okay, stop there then. Do it between your toes again. Did you use your hand there? Hand ball, Charlie, that, using your hand. <laughs> morning, Seb. Morning, Oscar. Right, stop there then. Quickly get a drink. It's a quick time to get a drink. Just 10 seconds, quick sip. As you can see, he's tired, he's working, that's what we want to do. It gets quite hot in this kitchen as well, so he will, he will start to get hot. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to move that on now. Now the toe taps, what we're going to do is we're going to do toe taps but between your feet. So he's going to use the soles of his feet just to move the ball between. Do you understand what I mean? Between your feet, good, yeah? So just as Charlie's doing now, he's just going to move the ball between his feet using his toes. Again, he's building that coordination, yeah, in his balance. He's been able to show that actually, if it comes to it in a game, he can just flip the ball away from a player. Morning, Chris. Morning, Josh. So he's doing between the feet. Come on then, quick air, come on. It's all about that. You know we need to keep that fitness up. We'll get it. When you get tired, Charlie, that's when we make mistakes. Come on, push yourself. So you see, he gets tired, and then when he gets tired, that's when he's controlling get worse. So that's why we push through those barriers. So we, we know, we're making the right decisions when we're tired. Stop there then for that. Get a quick breather. Okay. <coughs> Morning, Timor. So what he's going to do now is, again, he's going to build on this. So he's going to do some toe taps to between the feet, okay? You remember what that one is? Do you want me to show you? Good. Okay, so he'll do two toe taps, one with each foot, then he'll move it between his feet, and then he'll go. Great work, Charlie. Obviously, all of these are quite, the, you know, they're quite difficult to do. They get tired quicker, they work the legs, they work the cardio, so he's off, but his balance and coordination is great today, Charlie. So you can see, this is what we're doing. We're trying to use the small space to build him up. Come on, Charlie, get the ball, go. Good work. Stop there then. 10 second drink. Because I can see you getting tired. And then we're going to repeat these, okay? So what we're trying to do here, just for the drinks, give him a quick drink so he can, you know, have a little rest, but not too much. You need to keep that heart pumping. He needs to be making mistakes. Bless you. He's struggling a bit with hay fever today as well, so. Right. Remember the first one between your feet and your toes? 30 seconds, go. Between the feet and the toes, Charlie, stop. Which one? With the toes, just the toes. Which one? Look, first one you started, yeah, remember? Okay, so sometimes he gets confused when we're talking to him, just that one, yeah? Off you go. Good. Sometimes it's easy to forget, he is still only seven. He plays far under seven, so um, we work this quite a lot. You know, obviously he's going to make mistakes, he's young. But he's doing excellent at the minute. Good boy. Stop, 
a breath up, a couple of breaths in the middle, toe taps between the feet, yeah, like you just did. Good, well done. So you can see we're trying to keep the pace up here, we're trying to keep going. Quick, go. You can have a rest after this. Give me 30 seconds, I don't want to see the mistakes about building now. Good boy. Well done. So as he gets tired, the coordination gets harder, and that's the whole point of pushing them whilst they're making them tired. Make sure that they're trying to do that, okay? Keep it under control is the most important thing, but keep going at speed if you can. We'll give you a little rest in a minute, Charlie, good boy. Oh, near left, go on. 10 more seconds. Can you give me four more of them? Good boy. Stop there then, get your drink. Okay, we'll give him a little bit more of a break now because he's worked really hard there, okay? So for those of you that are still on the live feed, okay, hopefully you're getting a drink, having a quick breath. Okay, with all of this, as per last, last week, it will be shared to the page afterwards, so you can do this afterwards. I understand some people won't want to use the house, they won't want to be in the kitchen, just trying to say hello there. So you can actually take this into the garden when it's nice. You know, you've got all week to do this session, okay? They stay on our page, just give it a go, okay? Morning, Sean. So he's gone through four exercises there, okay? He's repeated them, he's clearly breathing a little bit heavier, okay, breathing. So what he's gonna do now, he's gonna do toe taps to sole roll. Can you remember, Charlie? Go on, give it a go. If you're wrong, I'll show them. I think you're out of the camera there. So all he's doing is he's using his toe, doing two toe taps, then he's rolling his sole over to the other foot. Keep going, keep going. 30 seconds of that. Okay, and he's rolling it over. So he's practicing the sole rolls, use your feet. Please use your feet when you do that. that oh, that was a toe taps or sole rolls. Stop there then, just to where you've got your lace undone. Just give me a second, his lace is undone. Have a breath. Toe taps the sole rolls. Come on now, we can do them, yeah? Keep it up, go. Toe taps the sole rolls, good boy. Morning, Tasha. Don't use your hands, mate. If you need to, slow it down a little bit so you're under control, yeah? You haven't got to go so quick. Good. Because he's getting tired here, he is sort of messing a couple of them up with the coordination. But that's why we push it, you know, to make sure that they get in there. Charlie, stop using your hands. Keep going. Stop there then. Do you need to blow your nose? No, you sure? Okay. His next little um, exercise, he's going to do 180 drag back. But he's going to use both feet. So I'll just demonstrate here so we can have a rest. Okay. Rather than face forward, we're going to face to the side. And all he's going to do is he's going to use his arm like he's protecting the ball. He's going to drag it under his feet to the right, stop it with the left, drag it again to the right. Okay? Just going to keep going across, practicing that drag back. Nice and simple. Try and keep your arm out there like you're protecting. Okay? I cross feet there myself. Okay? You ready? Had a breath? Okay, this is one where he will cross his feet. He will get this one wrong at times because um, he's you know, not always used to doing it, using the crossing for both feet. But he's going to go there, give it a go. Left foot start, go. Nice. Not so far from the control number. Good. Good, well done. Nice. Make sure it's on the control. Good boy. Using that sole. Good, well done. Good boy, well done. Keep going. Nice, stop there then. Okay, quick breath. Are you gonna go back to the toe taps to sole rolls, please, yeah? Toe taps to sole rolls. What? Toe tap, sole roll. No, toe tap, sole roll. Oh, this one. Yes, that one, good, well done. Good boy. Okay, so again, we're repeating that exercise, so they're doing it again, but they're actually trying to push themselves, they're a bit tired, they're going to go for it. Breathe through the nose. Nice. Hold on. Good 
Good boy. Stop there then. Drag backs. Back into the reference point, you're too close. Good boy. Then we're going to go back to the drag back, so we're going to try them drag backs again. Off we go. Then they can get a nice rest. It is getting hot. I'm not doing anything and I'm hot, so you can see how hot he's going to be whilst he's doing this. Good boy. Stay there. This is the beauty of filming live. The youngest one now needs to go to the toilet. Keep going. Make sure you're doing them properly, Charlie. No, you're doing more V-cuts there, mate. Drag back's good. Nice work. Good kid. Give me a five and get a drink. Okay, now he's got probably 30 seconds to get a drink. Um, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna talk you through, obviously when we're doing some of these skills, like the drag back there, there is a need to protect the ball, okay? You need to get toilet as well. We'll wait for Connor then. I'll go upstairs. And we'll wait for Connor. We'll go upstairs with her. Charlie, you need quickly to get toilet. So that's fine. I'll talk you through this anyway. So at times there is a need to protect the ball, okay? And obviously when he's doing the drag backs, he's going to need to protect the ball. Yeah? So the one thing we'll do, let Connor out. So I'll come closer to the camera. So as he's there, what we need them to be doing is bending the knees slightly and the arm is out, okay? Not like this, because obviously you can hurt your wrist, you don't get a good strength. But if my arm's out here, and there's a player here, I can feel where they are and look away, okay? Then I can use my left foot to turn. Same with the right there, like this. Okay, we turn. For the younger ones, we call it the Captain America shield. They remember, shield, yeah? Rather than arm, shield. And that's what we're trying to do with them here, okay? So when he's doing those drag backs, he'll protect the ball. The player's here, he'll be holding the player off, and he can turn away from him using that foot. Okay? Just wondering where he's gone. He's nicked toilet. Um, let me just check on him. You okay? Cool, close the door. He's back now. So hopefully he's had a little rest, okay? You understand that Captain Mo Shield will probably come here. Just quickly show you with Charlie. So if he was there and I had the ball, rather than holding him away like this, I want him here. I can feel him, my knees bent, okay? And then I can use the ball, protect him, hold him away. Yeah, and then I can use that drag back to her. Charlie's fell over. Okay, so hopefully you understand that. I'm back. Just add in a little bit more detail. You're back. I think they can see that. Okay, so a couple more exercises. What he's gonna do now is he's gonna do some V cuts for 30 seconds. So you can drag it back and push it out in the shape of a V using both feet. Off you go, try it. Properly, please, because that left foot was on a V. Slow down. Nice, well done, better. Good boy. So again, we practiced these this week, last week. Again, it's a nice one to practice for control, yeah, but also to control. You know you're not gonna do some toe taps. Okay, again, he's practicing the little put, roll and push through his feet cuts. Show where we're going. Don't use your hands. That's what your feet are for. Come on, please. Good boy. Practice properly now. I know you're tired. Everyone's only watching you. Come on. See, he's, he's lost the ball now. He's losing control. He's slowing down because he's tired. Just five more minutes, Charlie. That's all you've got. Right, try let me do it because obviously you're struggling a bit here. Leave the ball, leave the ball. What he should be doing, and for some reason he's un not under control today, pulling it back, pushing it out. Okay, with the left foot there, put it back, push it out. You ready to go back, Charlie? Oh, yeah. Okay, nice and under control, please. Pull it back, push it out. Good. Nice, better. I know you're tired, but when you're tired, you, you've got to push yourself, concentrate. Don't use your hands. Right, stop there then. Come do your lace, then cook you do your lace. Right foot this time. Okay, 
back. Triangles, please. So all he's going to do now is he's going to pull the back, the ball back with his right foot, pa pass, uh, pass it between his, his feet and push it back out again in the shape of a triangle. Under control. Charlie, please listen. Under control and stop using your hands. He's, uh, he's trying to show off a little bit, going a bit too quick and losing control. Morning, Dan, that's okay. As I said earlier, this will be out there. It's on our page, it'll be on there all week. So, you know, have a watch, practice. Charlie, go back to the reference point, further back, and please do the triangles properly. Pull it back with your right foot, between your feet. Better. Concentrate now, mate. No hands, only feet. Boy. Better, well done. He is getting tired, bless him. But he's working hard. No feet. No hands. Hands only, please. Good. Hands only? Feet only, sorry. <laughs> See, I make mistakes as well, Charlie. It's fine. Good boy. Push it out a bit. Oh, stop there then. Okay? As you can see, he's nice and red faced. You know, he's been really pushed. You know, he has made a few mistakes, but that's because he's getting tired. That's what will happen, and that's why we pushed him through this, okay? It's all about practicing that ball mash you are so there. You okay? Yeah? Are you okay to do one last thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to show them the Cruyff, okay? So I'm going to show you a Cruyff turn just as an example of a skill at the end. One to practice, it's your challenge for the week. Okay, last week we did the Samba toe taps. Okay, I'll give you a bit of detail. Nice and simple, Cruyff turn. Great one to escape challenges. Hopefully you can see the ball. I can't see the ball, so I'll move back. It's nice and simple. We need to create an angle for a body for us to get the ball behind. We're gonna turn back 180 degrees. So we step slightly past it, left foot at an angle, and then we use the instep to push it back. Okay, same again. Nice and simple. Yeah, and we could, if we could do it quicker, great. It's a great one to escape, okay? Because what we're doing is we're fainting the player. We are show, pretending we're going to go that way and actually going to turn, okay? You ready? reckon you can do it, a couple of those? Charlie will try a couple of them, and then now we're done for the week. Remember, like I said, you know, if you enjoyed the session, please like Stud Share FC on Facebook. Um, share it with your friends. These are on weekly, every 10, 10 a.m. every Sunday. They're free for everyone. You know, we just want to get the content out there. Remember, we're also doing live fitness sessions 11 o'clock every Wednesday. Get involved with them as well. Go on, Charlie, you're through Cruyffs. Please stop using your hands. It's football, not handball. Stop it with your feet. Good boy, well done. Okay, so just doing a few Cruyffs here. They're the ones for you to practice. <laughs> Thanks for that, Dan. Like watching me on Friday night. The only thing is I've not fell over yet. Keep going, Charlie, a couple more. Okay, that's it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. You know, these sessions are there all week, like I've said. Please, you know, give them a view, watch them, practice it in the week in the garden. Hopefully we get some nicer weather. If not, you've got a small space you can practice. How do you feel, Charlie? Roasting. Oh, you're gonna knock me over. What are you? I'm roasting. Roasting, so what do we need to say to people? What do you say? Thank bye. you and bye. Thank you. Hopefully you've all enjoyed it. See you later.